Parents who choose to educate their children at home have taken their campaign against government plans for tougher regulation to Parliament today. They say their ability to give their families a good education is being treated with suspicion by people who simply don't understand them. Sarah Smith has the latest in our Chasing Places series, looking at the challenges faced by parents who are seeking the best possible education across the South East. They turned it into a sort of party, but their message as they gathered outside Parliament today was a serious one. Don't interfere with our children's education. Danny Aaron from Brighton has been educating her two children at home for the past five years. Regulation, she says, just wouldn't fit with the way her children learn. I don't think it's up to me to set goals for their learning. I think that's up to them. Um, and I, I don't think it's OK for the government to, to dictate to me how what method I should use to educate my children. It's very different. I don't have specific school hours and I don't start learning at a specific time in the day. I just learn as I go through life. The government is currently consulting following a report which recommends all home educated children are registered annually, have an education plan and receive visits in their homes to check they're safe and well. Campaigners say it's an unnecessary interference. We all have the right indeed the duty to educate our own children and most of us get the state to do it for us but these are just people exercising that right and we've let them do it for years and now suddenly we're treating them as if they were doing something suspicious and awful and, and needed to be controlled and corralled and, and kept an eye on. But the government says it's committed to balancing parents' rights with the need for checks to ensure children are both learning at home and safe there. Lucy Gullen believes there's a lack of understanding over what families like hers do. What I tend to do is to follow what my children are interested in. I make suggestions, we go to activities, we go to groups, they learn on their own. Uh, it, it's really, I really follow their interests and passion because children learn best when they're passionate. The hope is to convince the government home education is just fine as it is. Sarah Smith, BBC South East Today, Westminster.